Vietnam by motorbike. A 2,800 km journey from south to north Vietnam in under three weeks. Our biggest adventure to date. And so far you've seen us take on some of the busiest roads in the world, experience the unpredictable Vietnamese weather, and eventually escaped the tropical forest. If you haven't watched our first video, I'll leave the link here and in our description, so I recommend you catch up on that before continuing with this video. But in this episode, we'll be continuing to push our way into the less traveled central region of Vietnam. We're on the search for an incredible viewpoint that forces us to spend the night in a tiny Vietnamese village which supplies us with an experience we'll never forget. We have been overwhelmed with the response from our previous Vietnam episodes, so thank you so much for the support. Please remember to click subscribe and leave us a like and a comment as this will help YouTube push our videos and channel to more like-minded people and will help us grow. Good morning, it's around 9pm. 9pm. <laughs> 9am. Can you tell that we've not woken up yet? Yeah, we're not awake. Uh, but we've just set out. We've left the farm stay that we were at last night. And we only got a little bit up the road, didn't we? Yeah, we were about 10 minutes down the road. And Google Maps, I think it's going to save me about 10 kilometres. But it, it, there's a three kilometre long road now. And it is just... Bumpy? Yeah, bumpy mud. We'll show you, obviously. Yeah. But we thought we'd stop and just kind of let you know what we have in store for today as we only finished deciding it around 11 o'clock last night. Yeah. So we're around here now yep. in the Cat Tien National Park and we're heading towards Bao Lok. Yeah, we, the road that we're following isn't on this map because this is main highway. So we're doing a bit of a wibbly wobbly road through the mountains up to Bao Lok and then we're going inland from this highway again here round this beautiful lake and then up to Gi I don't know um, how to say that no, I'm not too sure. yeah something like that but yeah it's gonna be about four and a half hours up to where we're staying yeah and the roads up there are gonna be absolutely stunning so we're really looking forward to it even though we're still like half asleep I'm sure in 10 minutes, well, or in two minutes down this, yeah. we're soon going to wake up when we're on our arse. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> well, this is going to be interesting. Fingers crossed it's a smooth ride. Thankfully it doesn't seem to be too wet. Yeah, it seems like the grip's okay. Yeah, it's gripping all right. It's just very bumpy and up and down. And the suspension on this isn't amazing. Well, it's not an off-road bike, is it? No. The tires aren't very knobbly. So even when there's a little bit of a slant, I'm scared of slipping out. I'll let this guy come through. I mean, he's not slowing now. I woke up a bit now. Yeah, that wasn't too bad after all. Me, 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 me. Starting the day on these road conditions is exactly what we wanted from this trip. It made us feel like this was the start of seeing the vast rural side of Vietnam that you don't get the chance to see on public transport. And as the mountains crept up over the horizon, we were full of anticipation of what our first full day on the bike would bring. This is meant to be one of the best roads to drive in Vietnam according to a blog that we've read and as you've just seen there's an 8 ton weight limit on this road so hopefully that means no big trucks so we're 
this should be good fun now. about Vietnam is how individual the scenery can be in such a small amount of time. The twisty roads guide you up the mountains to incredible viewpoints that in turn can switch to dense pine forests in a matter of minutes. Having so much surrounding beauty to spectate makes the time on the bike fly by. My only concern is Shin in French's dog. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. I keep getting surprised by these, this food that comes out. It looks really nice. The only thing I know is that com means. Well, I think that means broken, like broken rice. Yeah. Um, as it is a little bit different. Oh, thank, thank you. you. But this looks really good. Just vegetables, a chicken drumstick, and then rice. And then you always get like a soup, which I think is my favorite part. Mitch isn't a massive fan of the, the soup up bit, are you? I'm just glad it doesn't look like puppy. Yeah, I know. I did make a note last night in the room of some common foods in Vietnamese and translated them as well as what coffee means but my phone hasn't synced so I can't even check now but it's just so when we're on the road if we see something we kind of start to know the name of it and can ask for it or point to it on our phone as well so I don't like when there's a little bit of language barrier I just want to make it easy for them and not feel rude but I'm excited to eat this well I think we're going to go and look at a dam you know how much I love a dam it is actually raining so hopefully it doesn't rain for too long. Oh, uh, maybe we should wait. Should we wait a minute? Yeah. <laughs> we'll wait. <laughs> I must say it's not as fun when it's raining and it's windier. Definitely makes for a chillier experience. Oh man. This rain is just crazy though. <laughs> I thought it was going to be bigger than that. Okay, maybe I should have looked at photos. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Them trees are pretty on the outside of the lake though. Is that the one? Yeah, yeah. it's got to be. This is the dam. It's You're not, a numpty to you are. It's not quite like the dam in Switzerland, is it? <laughs> Oh well, it wasn't too far out the way. But I think we've got a good like two and a half hours. We've got two and a half hours until the place we stay tonight, but we've got like an hour and 45 until there's like this lake with all these islands inside that I've seen photos of and it looks incredible, but it's going to be a long slog to get there now, especially if it's raining. Yeah, this rain is just not fun. So I think we're gonna, we're just gonna have to Gonna have to crack on, mate. Grim and bear it. How wet are you? I'm not, I left my pocket open then, and so now all my body's wet because all the water's gone into my oh. pocket. Right, do you want to put your earphones on? Yeah. Right. We are. We're gonna be antisocial and listen to some music.
I'm actually gonna cry. I can't believe that. <laughs> Don't laugh or cry. <laughs> I've never seen you like this. I've, my earphone wasn't loud enough, so I was pulling my headphone, my helmet off. My earphone fell out. It rolled along the floor, and then a lorry came past and ran over it. <laughs> oh, Mitch, I'm devastated for you. They're expensive headphones as well. I'm so sorry. Where, I'm sorry, but where did a lorry just come from? Nowhere. Look at. I'm so sad. I'm I'm so upset. Sorry. At least the rain stopped. Yeah. Do you want another sweet? <laughs> yeah, I'd love another sweet. <laughs> oh. After experiencing our first incident of the trip, we were on the search to lift our spirits and find a viewpoint that is supposed to be quite remarkable. We started our little mission for the viewpoint by checking out any stretch of land that we thought would lead us to an epic view. As this province of Vietnam isn't that well travelled, we wanted to make sure that we didn't leave any stone left unturned. Is this a good idea? Or we just carry on? Oh, it goes down. So the reason we've turned off on this really weird little path is because there's meant to be a viewpoint around here to look over the lake. And you think it's here? I think so. Doesn't look much like a viewpoint. I've got no internet to see. I'll just have a quick look through there. Okay. Oh, it goes all the way down there. No, we won't bother. I don't like traipsing around in places that I don't know in Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> I never know if I'm going to step on something that's going to go after a second and third stop at a potential yeah. viewpoint, neither of them were quite what we expected. That was until we climbed further up into the mountain and pulled up to exactly what we were looking for. Tadung Lake is a gigantic reservoir located within the Dak Nong province in the central highlands of Vietnam. Spanning over 22,000 hectares, there are 36 large and small islands housed inside of it. In our typical fashion, we hadn't done much research before we decided on this route. So as you can imagine, we were completely caught off guard by the sheer natural beauty of what many call the Heilong Bay of Central Vietnam. We've just come to grab a coffee from where we just were down there taking some photos. We saw this little homestay on the drone and they've got like loads of tents. It's so cool with this view. So we've just badly translated that we wanted a coffee and it's just it's hopefully making us do now. We're just going to sit here. Mitch's phone's about to die. He got water in it yesterday when it rained really heavily. So you can't charge it on the bike anymore. Yeah, for it's some not... reason it's saying that there's moisture in the port, but it will charge when it's in a wall. It's really weird. Yeah, so we need to just basically let that charge. We're not too far away from where we're going to be staying tonight, but it's still early. We've made really good time. You've been yeah. saying, like, you're knocking time off. Off Google Maps this time, yeah. So flying yeah we're doing all right i think we've about hit the limit today of where we would mm. enjoy being on the bike for because it's going to be about five hours bum's getting a bit numb and getting a little bit like 
I wouldn't say sick of it, but it starts to not be as fun anymore. So five hours, I would say, is about the max we want to be doing on it. Yeah, yeah. And also, I'm just feeling a, like a bit dehydrated, I think. And yeah. Like just going over the bumps and then my head was like yeah. shaking in the thing. So if we keep our journeys to about three or four hours, I think that'll be about good timing. Yeah, and it's been nice just to ride today. And then this view, I can't believe this, yeah, this is not been spoken end, about. Like, yeah, this has been the end goal for today, aren't it? Yeah, and now we're here. But this is, like, I've not seen this on many people's, like, Instagram, TikTok, no. blogs. It's and stunning, it's just, it? like, there's no one here either. Oh, I wish can... we hadn't pre-booked our place now, because I would happily stay in one of these tents. Yeah looking out to that view it's obviously up and coming because they're doing a lot of work to put the tents up now making frames for it and stuff is that what they're doing yeah it seems like it right. these are little bungalows down here as well underneath us yeah oh come on <laughs> coffees are ready i'll have this sweet treat and enjoy this view look at that oh my god our homestay for the night was in a little village called Guanqi, located in the Dak Glong district. With the little option of places to sleep in this area, and in the essence of staying off the beaten path, the homestay didn't have many reviews, so we were a little apprehensive of what was to come. Where is it? The end wrong down there. down here so I don't know where to park. Um, maybe. Uh, Have they got that bike down there? <laughs> Have you gone across the grass there? Where that, uh, Have you gone down and round? Where is this here? Oh yeah, here. Yeah. I think it's good. I think it's down again Mitch. Is it? Yeah. Like yours. Is it? Yeah. This is where we're staying for the night. <laughs> Don't speak much English. <laughs> it's situated. Slamming a rock into the ground. I don't know what for. You are? He's slamming a rock. No, he's uh, hitting crackers. Can't you hear oh. it? Oh. <laughs> Did you think that rock was what was yeah. making the noise? What's your name? Kimmy. Kimmy? Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's so funny. I didn't know that the little girls would be able to speak any English. Yeah, they've been learning it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello. 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 Got a little trail behind us. <laughs> Taking us to our room. Okay. Huh? Okay. Uh, what? Just uh, we need just just one room, just <laughs> us two. Yeah, just this this room. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Fine. This one. <laughs> yeah. Come on, you lazy git.
yeah, we've just got into the room and I just want to lie, lie down as if I've like been on the move all day. But I want to lie on my front because my arse is too sore to sit <laughs> any longer. We've literally only just got here, but it's about the time that the locals eat their tea or dinner, whichever way you say it. And I think we've figured out that if you eat at the similar time that they do, you get fresher food. So we've got to sort of adjust to their time scale for that. So we're going to shoot out now, have a little bit of an explore where we want to eat and uh, fill our bellies because we're ready to chill out for the day as well. Yeah, we're ready to have an early quiet night in. Yeah, so that's the plan. I'm already stressing about getting up here in the morning. Coming down there, honestly, I thought we were going on the deck. There's like a layer of moss on the on the concrete, and when you when I put my brake on straight away, you can just feel a slip in, like it is like an ice rink. So I'm picking my line. I think I'm going to take gravel, dirt up here, gravel up onto there. That's the plan. Yeah, you'll be doing that on your own. Yeah, I, I would rather do it without <laughs> you on it. We're just walking up the main street of where we are now and it's like the most built up place that we've been um, in a while. There's like clothes shops, phone shops and I feel like we've got a massive arrow above our heads and everyone's saying hello. Someone just asked where we're from and yeah, it's a bit crazy. But it's so fun. It's so fun being the minority. It really is. We're just trying to find some food though now. But we might be a little bit early for getting some food. We want to know where the locals are going. But yeah, we, no we normally pick the place where you can see the most locals because then you know, normally know you're getting the best food. One thing I'm trying to embrace this time is that when people are saying hello, like I always feel like they're taking the piss and it makes me like, <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel like really self-conscious. And I think that's probably like anxiety wise, it just like sets me off thinking that they're like making fun of me. Yeah, but this time I'm just trying to like embrace it. If people are staring or like shouting hello, I'm just taking it as they're being nice because they definitely are. Vietnamese people are so nice. Yeah, there's just four girls sat on a bike, like all different ages, and they're all just completely staring over at us. And then all of them were waving on the bike saying hello to us. Yeah, it's funny. I've just realised if people are staring, it's, ne it's not negative, so I need to get that out of my head. And if it is, there's no harm in waving regardless. So that's what I'm starting to do now, because they kind of stare and then I'll wave and then they'll, they'll wave back and normally smile. People aren't gonna like, I don't know, I'm expecting them to look at us and like spit at us or yeah. something, I don't know. <laughs> Which is terrible to say, because we've not had that experience. It's just, I don't know, my first reaction, I get like, defensive that's just the english in us yeah, normally yeah. when someone's staring at you at home it's because they've got a bit like they've got an yeah, issue with, with you it. yeah that's probably what it is so yeah i'm just embracing and just waving and smiling to no surprise after a brief walk up the main street it proved that there wasn't much in terms of bustling restaurants in this area so we headed into the busiest local spot we could find thank you, thank you. <laughs> I was going to order two of the same thing, but then I thought, no, that's boring. So I've just ordered one of, like, I just yeah. shouldn't have chosen him. Yeah. So I don't have a clue again what we've ordered. It's called, like, Kan Chien? Kan Chien that's or something? What we had earlier. Is it? Chien, because that's why I was joking about the dog. Oh. What well, you said, Kan. It was. It was. Kom Chien earlier. Kam Chien. Oh, I think we've ordered the same, ordered the same thing then. Well, I thought you ordered. Just said you ordered different. Yeah, one Cam Chien and then the other one was something oh, else. Yeah. yeah. No idea. Everyone's been really nice. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's kind of freaking me out how oh, nice yeah. everyone's been. Come on. Come on, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's like overwhelming me a little bit because everyone's been really nice. And, like, I just can't stop smiling, it's making my jaw hurt. <laughs> yeah, this is, oh my god, this is such a local spot that it's like a, they're kind of running it like a cafeteria, cafe, 
cafeteria style where they've just got loads of pots which we found in most of the places that we've been at there's just like big pots of different types of meals and then um, yeah I'll go off and record it I'm gonna have a hello hello this is just ace like we're not the most confident vloggers. Like we're not been doing this for long, and like in the van, we're very isolated. So coming here in itself and just filming is like, especially when people stare anyway. Yeah, people don't realise like how introverted we are. Yeah, like, yeah. We had this conversation with some other people the other day, and we're so introverted. And just filming, it's only been us two this whole time since we've been away. So now that we're kind of meeting new people and seeing things, we're very nervous still to film. But then she was just like. She tapped me on the shoulder and was telling me to like point and film the sign and like I was just up there and everyone was just like saying hello and I'm always scared that people are going to be like why are you filming me? Like I'm very conservative about the fact that people are eating or yeah. we're in people. I don't want it to ever feel like we're like shining a light in the wrong way. I think that's more us. I think people are more open to it than we think yeah. with the filming but I don't want it to ever come across like we're like shoving a camera in shoving, yeah. yeah. I think it's a lot in our head but yeah, this is just incredible. That people are just so nice, and it's making me more confident to be able to share with you guys this experience as well. Yeah. Wow. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. None. Yes. Yes. England. England. Yeah. Manchester. Manchester. Yeah. Yeah. This looks very good. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> all in all, very good. Full, ready to sleep. What did you say? Good night. Good night. See you again. See you again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you from? England. England. England, ah. Yeah. Hello. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? We are going to Bramah uh, Fox. We're at Bramah Fox tomorrow. Yeah. We we are riding to Hanoi. Oh. Yeah. To Hanoi. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Papa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, mate. Come on, thank you very much. See you later. See you later. See you later. Bye. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Thank 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 you say hello to us and they were filming us yeah as well so <laughs> i didn't feel too bad having the camera out no they were yeah filming us and that yeah that was really sweet i'll tell you what this is, i think this is the best trip we've done now yeah like this is just it's amazing isn't it yeah it's just the vietnamese people are so nice and yeah. just this experience in itself is just exactly what we were after and it's yeah. succeeding all of our expectations the so far don't see like too many people like us but like it's not too uncommon that they're like they're so confused that we're here yeah yeah but yeah it, it's brilliant i love it six o'clock and we're heading back to the room to get a good night's rest for another for another day of driving tomorrow driving or riding 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 oh they've got karaoke here <laughs> We're going to have a sing song. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Mummy, Andy. Oh, we, we're full, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also, I don't know how good I am at filming in these situations when, every, when everything Hello. goes on. Hello. Because. I want to be in the moment as well, but also want to film it to document it, but without being like in front of the camera, like focusing exactly on the angle. Yeah, and it the... is hard, isn't it? Because we're trying our hardest to get watchable footage for this whole trip, 
like on the bike and stuff but then also it's really hard to like get the best of both worlds for us to really enjoy it yeah so. yeah it's it's finding that balance and i'm trying to make sure we can get a bit of both and also not make it feel like i'm like i don't know being like sticking a camera everywhere it's yeah, making live, sure living through a camera. Li yeah, yeah living through the camera yeah rather than i don't want that to be the case so i'm like smiling we need like a pov me. don't we like a gopro on a phone yeah there. that's literally what we need because i want to be there smiling and talking still like in that situation then but without being like my eyes behind the lens yeah and that them trying sense. to talk to you and you just be like this in front of him like yeah. trying to talk to you yeah it's very hard so that's not us okay i'm just gonna say this one more time <laughs> but every time i turn off the camera people are tapping their friends pointing at us but then waving and saying hello and it just makes me want to like cry you decided well enough. i know <laughs> because it's just like so amazing that yeah, they were just smiling like, yeah i don't know it's hi <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a bit of the camera, a bit of us. I, I don't know. I, I think it is mainly because it's in our culture in England, it's so unusual for people to randomly be nice <laughs> when it happens to you a lot. Like, that's why I was saying it was overwhelming earlier. I don't know. This just, I just wanted to say again that they're just still amazing me, and I'm just going to be amazed the whole way back and tomorrow, and whilst we're here in Vietnam, I think. So that's all I want to say. I feel like a celebrity and it's great. We just need Jammy Gits like t-shirts or something. Oh yeah, get everyone to subscribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, we should have bought them. Yeah. At least had some like little stickers or something. Get everyone to subscribe. <laughs> right, I'll have to say goodnight. Yeah, we'll catch you in the morning. <laughs> I think stopping in remote Vietnamese villages might be our new favourite way to travel on this trip. It really was an unforgettable experience. But thanks so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one, where we'll be carrying on delving deeper into the remote villages of Vietnam. We have our first run-in with the police and find ourselves in some unpleasant situations. 